a great search brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit. Thanks, DigiKey. Every single week, Lady Ada, use the power of engineering to help you as you find the things you want on DigiKey.com. Lady Ada, what are you looking for this week? Okay. I saw this uh, request by Jeff Kaiser, who's a friend of the fruit. Um, it says, I bought a 1% metal film resistor from AliExpress, but the first resistor was off by 2%. And they're really, really skinny leads. Anyone know a better 1% resistor kit? Glad you asked. But first, let me show on the overhead what he means by skinny leads, because I've actually bumped into this issue and it drives, drives me crazy. Um, so this is, uh, you know, what is often sold when you buy inexpensive resistor kits. And these are often called like 1 16th or 1 8th watt resistor. And the LED, the, sorry, the LEDs, the leads are uh, 0 0.34 four millimeters or 0 0.3 millimeters. Yeah, 0 0.34 millimeters. Whereas your standard, like what you would normally get, like when most people buy quarter watt um, through hole resistors are 0 0.5 millimeters. And the reason this actually matters is when you use these with a breadboard, um, you know, the, these resistors stick nicely and like, you know, I can't, I can't beam the feeling through the, uh, video, but like, it's, it's, it feels like it's like, it's gripped, like it's in there. It's, it's like, it's not going to fall out. It's like, it's stuck in there. Whereas this, the thin leads, um, they, they do, you know, there, there's a little bit of a grip, but like I could, it feels like quite loose, like this one. Here, let me see if I can. Yeah, hold on. Let me show if I can see if I can demo that live. So, you know, there was a, one slot that was like a little bit looser. Hold on, let me find it. Okay, so it's it's in here. And it just fell out. It's not thick enough to get gripped by, even though this is a pretty good quality breadboard. These are the ones with like the extra, um, prong and in the, the prongs are like uh notched to like have a good grip on them um but yeah it's like unless you have a super tight breadboard uh these skinny leads aren't going to fall out so uh luckily digi actually stocks um resistor kits i think we covered smt resistor kits a while ago but let's uh show what they've got for through hole resistor kits so over at the computer um under kits or you can just type in like you know resistor kit if you're not going to remember and um, they actually have quite a few resistor kits so let's look at um just the active ones and then um like i said they have surface mount and through hole let's also look also at the well we'll do, we'll do marketplace but let's do normally stocking um just in case there were some that were discontinued so to be honest basically if you're going to get you know, like Sparkfun has a resistor kit that's a quarter watt, but this is a, a 5% uh, set. Um, you know, to be honest, like a lot of people who want resistor kits want a surface mount resistor kit, not a through hole, because honestly, not a lot of people do through hole prototyping anymore. Um, that said, there is like a Yagio through hole resistor kit here. So let's filter by through hole only. Another thing is, most people don't need a 1% kit. They want a 5% kit because a 5% kit is, again, is going to be good enough for them. Um, but if you do want a 1% kit, let's search for 1% tolerance. I don't know what this one, this one is multiple. I don't know. Okay, 21 options. So the most, the most popular pack of kits, so like, you know, this is, this looks like it's probably okay too. Um, but the um the yagio kits are kind of like the ones that they have the most in stock for and but one thing to watch out for is you don't get like every value so each order that you get has like one decades worth so this is the 100k to one mega ohm and this is the 10 to 100 ohm and this is the 10k to 100k ohm and this is the one to 10k so basically you like pick which decade you want now the, the thing is is that just like oh, i don't want to get all one you know all of them because it's going to be like 23 bucks but the thing is like you probably don't need all of them i'll say that for most times you need one percent resistors is when you're doing like op amp filters or like other analog electronics where you have to like set a divider like precisely and chances are if you're doing 
that kind of precision dividers, you don't need anything under 1K because um, you just like, don't, don't really use, do like off uh, have feedback resistors or like other analog resistors that are under like a, about a 1K or so. So if I was going to get the 1% versus 5% kit, I would get the 1% in 100k to 1 meg and the 10k to 100k and then if you really want get the 1 to 10k but i wouldn't get anything under 1k i'd get a five percent kit to be honest because you don't like need the precision at like 40 470 ohms and you definitely don't need it for like 10 ohms to 100 ohms like like nobody's doing one percent you know 68 ohm resistors it's very very rare so i think if you're going to like just pick one 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 I would go with the 10 to 100K because it's like this is kind of where like the most of your values are going to be when you're doing op amp circuits. So this is my pick for the great search. It's RS 4X kit ND. Wait.